We are back in the garden for watering. I just got here. Let's uh, start by checking on the plants. Let's see how the green on this one's doing. Looks like it's improving, a lot less dead. Let's see this one. Ooh, wow. That looks real nice. Let's check this pot. Nice, nice. Oh, look at that. New leaves. Successful transplant of life, folks. You see that? Let's go check on our other plants. This is beautiful. It seems that most of the uh, random plant that we threw didn't make it, but you know, that's all right. Because look, that, look at those flowers. Um, That is like standing up. See, plants want sunlight, so like if I keep watering it, I think that's try to take root. Um, anyway, there's that one. Let's check how this that we planted is doing. Oh, wow. Look how well those are doing, guys. Nice. And, oh, that's new. Check out the blue flowers here. Maybe we can get some of this to spread into here, you know? I think that would actually probably look pretty good. Anyway, look how the dirt's already kind of dry over here again. It hasn't been long since I've last been here, but... Look how, look at all the brown patches on the lawn. That could be fixed. So, for the purpose of saving time, hang on, I have to hold the phone here, so bear with me. For the purpose of, spare, of saving time, and this not being an eight hour episode, We're gonna hit that one with some water. Just those plants wet. There's our bucket of, oh, let's check our everything bucket. I forgot to show you guys in there. Look, there's like a tree thing growing in there. Like a literal, like, I think it might be that stuff. Whoa. I almost fell into mud. I, it's leaves of some sort. Like, see, like this is a neat bucket, and is there a giant weed die. This thing? No, it's just moving. It's rooting. See the big this thing? Yeah. Oh, dandelion sprouting on it. Oh. That is awesome. Yes! Oh, what's going off of there? Oh, that is so cool. That that pot is my favorite, folks. Because that one's just getting exciting. And nothing exciting in our uh, little compost thing. I'm thinking it might be time to put something nasty in there to like do this for real anyway let's hit the mystery bucket especially water for you and you Now it is being difficult. There we go. 
getting that one. You know, just kind of spray the whole area down. I think if I just keep it this. Oh, look. Let me see if I can zoom in enough for that. You can see the grass growth in there, so. We're just gonna, basically for now, maybe with the, uh, compost bin as I called it. We'll actually just keep it wet and see what grows in there. Because it's dirt and there are flowers and seeds and stuff that could grow. And oh, that one's looking a little dry. That middle one there. Right here. There we go. Let me make sure I give that one in the back plenty of plenty of love too. I'm gonna really drench these dry ones that are just coming back to life. Oh, let me see if I can get the nice, even. Up. Oh, yeah. This is how you water in America. All of these videos are ironic, by the way. I'm sure you've all figured that out by now. But, you know, I do like watering out here. And it's fun filming and memeing. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah! Dance party. <laughs> A bee juice. Uh. Made an aggressive move on me. It's okay, homie. You can sting me if you want. It'll be your fate. But anyway, blue flowers here. Oh, oh we messed up the hose! fix it folks it's like a timed event in a video game I've always worried my whole life like especially as a kid not as much now but as a kid I would worry the hose is gonna freaking explode if I don't go and relieve that water tension because it's just like building up right I, I, I know that's not how it works now but it still kind of scares me a little because you know I have what I like to call the American mentality. I'm scared of it, and I don't understand it. Therefore, I hate it. And if you disagree with me, well, I disagree with you. So, seems that we're at a bit of a stalemate here, pardon. Now let's just give this lawn a really quick spray down, but just a little love. A little love for the lawn. Just a little. 
sometimes that's all it takes. And we did it. So we uh, fed the plants with water. I guess feeding the plants is kind of like when you add nutrients or whatever to them, but you don't need to have nutrients when you have other dying plants because and they're just insects and bugs and dirt things and stuff. You can do it naturally. They're even natural pest repellents, I think. No, I'm sure there are because, huh, I think nicotine isn't used as much anymore. Oh, look how terribly dead that cactus is. I don't know if it has some sort of like horrible gross sickness or if it's just dying. So I'm not sure if watering it would be like sustaining some guy that should really be put out of his misery in like a horror movie. And like, you know, when the guy's like, please kill me, and he's like really messed up. Or if it's like a plant desperate for water. You know, everything else is doing fine. And cacti are notorious for not needing water. So I'm going to just let homie, you know, live out his final time in peace. And... I would like to thank you all for joining me in the garden.